Hey everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. If you uh, watched my tidbits yesterday, I was talking about the cucumber, the lowly cucumber, and today I said that I was going to talk about a fruit. And I'm going to talk about the banana. And the reason I'm talking about the banana is because sometimes I think the banana gets demonized because it's, it's, a, it's high in carbs. And so people think that it's not good for you and it raises blood sugar and all the rest of it. But what you have to remember about it in terms of carbohydrates, they're complex carbohydrates. So it goes into your bloodstream differently. It breaks down into your bloodstream totally different than a candy bar. So don't be worried about that. But I want you to be aware of some of the amazing things about the banana. Um, on also several years ago, I read a book, uh, Potatoes Not Prozac, and at the time, potatoes were being demonized about being a carb and high in carbs and this, that, and the other, and causing all kinds of issues. And so this person brought out all the scientific research around that potatoes actually help with depression. Well, I'm going to show to you too that bananas can do the same thing. First of all, you've all heard the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, that usually has to do because uh, apples are high in fiber, and so they help you go to go to the bathroom. And, but did you know that uh, bananas are also very, very high in fiber? Now, comparison to a, an apple, let me tell you about bananas. First of all, it has four times the amount of protein. So there's four times the amount of protein in a banana than there is in one apple. It also has twice the carbs, but again, as I mentioned, these are complex carbs. So they actually will go into your bloodstream differently. It has three times the phosphorus. Now phosphorus is found as an important mineral, but it's found in just about everything, but it has three times the amount of phosphorus than an apple. It has five times the amount of vitamin A and iron, and it has three times the amount of other um, vitamins and minerals than an apple. Okay, now again, vitamin A is important for all a number of different things. Again, this is the plant form and it has to create, it has to convert to the fat soluble form in your body. But vitamin A, if, if you don't have the presence of vitamin A in your system, your other vitamins and minerals will not work. That's how important vitamin A is. Now, it's also very rich in potassium and potassium helps with blood sugar and keeps everything balanced. So I think we ought to change this saying to a banana, a banana a day keeps the doctor away. So let me tell you about some other things. Bananas actually help with depression. They contain vitamins, minerals, and amino acids, and one of the amino acids that they care, uh, contain is tryptophan. Now, amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, and so tryptophan is a form of protein. And in your body, it converts to serotonin. And serotonin is one of the feel-good hormones. So actually, bananas can um, help with depression. It can relieve depression. So if you're feeling depressed or if you have PMS issues around a period of time, eat a banana and eat it daily. It also helps with anemia because it has iron in it. And it actually increases the production of hemoglobin in the blood, which increases the iron levels mm -hmm. and it will help with anemia. It helps with blood pressure, and as I mentioned, cucumbers help with blood pressure, so do celery. So now you have three things that will help with blood pressure, bananas, celery, and cucumbers that will help to lower it. It also helps with brain power. They say that um, people who take bananas, uh, they actually feel uh, their, their minds are clear. A lot of that has to do with the different vitamins, particularly the B vitamins that are in bananas. It helps with constipation, as I mentioned. It, it's very, very high in fiber. Also, it helps with leg aches. If you get any kind of leg ache or leg cramps, even by taking a half of a banana, usually it means that maybe your potassium sodium levels are imbalanced and you're getting those cramps in your legs, but just eating a half a banana a day will alleviate those. Like the cucumber, bananas also help with hangovers. So keep those two in mind. The bananas and the cucumbers can help with a hangover. They can help with morning sickness. They can help with heartburn. If you take the skin of a banana and you rub it on a mosquito bite, it will completely alleviate the itching and the burning of the mosquito bite. I had a friend who also firmly believed that that skin, that inside of the skin, also got rid of warts. She said you wanted a super ripe banana and then every day you would take that super ripe skin, the inside of it, and you would rub it on the wart. It helps with nerves and nervousness, again, because it has those B vitamins and it makes you feel more calm. It helps with people trying to get rid of, um, trying to stop smoking. 
there's something in the banana that helps them with that. And last, the, um, the Food and Drug Administration has said that bananas are so helpful with to help people relax and everything that it can pre uh, prevent strokes up to 40%. So they've allowed the, the banana growers to actually make a claim on that, that it can help prevent strokes. So those are just some tidbits on the banana. I too also have a um, blog all about the lowly banana. So hopefully you feel better about eating bananas um, each day and adding them to your kids' diets as well. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.